I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Jesus quarantines himself in order to see. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. If you love what we're doing, passing the faith to the next generation, like our video, subscribe to our channel, ring the bell for notifications when we have videos, and donate. Your tax-deductible gift, given on this right there, keeps us a rolling. Nice catch. Judica. This Sunday is Judica, was Judica Sunday. Passion Tide has begun. The gospel lesson, traditional gospel, is John chapter 8, 46 to 59, but we're going to focus in on one specific event. Jesus is engaging the Pharisees. He is, he is uh, going one-on-one on one with the church leaders. They resist him. They want to get rid of him. He calls them out, which brings us to the text that we are reaching today. First, verse 47. Boom, there we go in the corner. Whoever is of God hears my words. The reason why you do not hear them is you're not from God. And their response is, you must have a demon. You are crazy. We, look at us, the way we dress, the way we eat, the way we talk, we're religion. We're religion personified. We go to church every Sunday even when they're in quarantine, we um, we give 10%. We do what we need to do in order for us to earn our way to heaven. The, 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 the big deal here is, though, and, and the Lord's response, I do not have a demon. I honor my father. You don't honor me, yet I do not seek my own God, uh, glory. The one who seeks it, he is the judge. Whoever, I'm in, I'm in, I say to you, whoever hears my word, if anyone guards my words, cherishes my words, he will not see death. Whoever cherishes my words, he will not see death. The word there for keep, we've had it before, is tereo. Um, it, um, it's a great Greek word. It means to keep insofar as it means to guard. We've had it on many, many episodes. But here, what's most important is to hold dear his words, to preserve them, to listen to them, to live from them. Man does not live from bread alone, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Whoever lives from my words will not see death. And they said, <clears throat> Now we know for certain you have a, de a demon. Abraham died, as did the prophets, yet you said, Whoever holds near my words won't see death. Who do you make yourself out to be? I love that. It's not who you are. It's not who you say you are. It's who do you make yourself out to be? Who do you claim to be? Like if I glorify myself, my glory is nothing. It's my father who glorifies me. And you say, you say. See, look, I love that. Because Jesus can play the postmodern game too. Who do you make yourself out to be? They, they say, he says, you say you believe in God? But you don't. Because if you did, hey, how's it going? Anything I can do for you here? Anything at all? Aren't you cute? Get back in your bed. There's a good boy. There's a good boy. Back to the text. Are you greater than our father Abraham? 
you have not known him. I know him. If I were to say that I didn't know him, I'd be like you, a liar. <laughs> but I do know him and I keep his word. So how do you keep the word of God? Well, you believe that Jesus was sent by the Father to save you. That's how you keep the word of God. Your father, Abraham, your father, Abraham, not my father. My father's in heaven, says Jesus. Your father, Abraham, rejoiced that he would see my day. He saw it and he was glad. You're 50 years old, they say. And you seen father, Abraham? Amen, I mean, I say to you, before Abraham was, I am. And in that verse, before Abraham was, I am, Jesus claims to be God. I am. Before Abraham was, Nice catch. Can you see I gave it a little art? Before Abraham was, I am. And when he said that, when he said he was God, when he said he was God, they picked up their stones to stone him. And not in a fun Rocky Mountain High Colorado sort of way. No, they picked up their stones to kill him. And then the most amazing thing that you would ever expect to happen happened. Verse 59, but Jesus hid himself and went out and went out of the temple. God quarantines himself in order that you might be saved. He hides in the temple so that you would be forgiven. He flees sinners in order to save sinners. This is who God is. This is what God is. This is how God is. He saves you from your sin. He saves you from death. He saves you from the power of the devil. And he does so. by taking on your death, by taking on your sin, by dying. God wants to save sinners from death. Whoever keeps my words will not taste death. Sure, they might fall asleep, but it'll only be a nap. I'll wake them up, just like I woke up Lazarus. Trust him, believe in him, and you have nothing to fear from viruses or from, from cancer or from heart attacks or the like. He, your God, you, his people. Believe in him. You'll never see death. And so that he would save you, he quarantined himself. He ran into the temple and slipped away. He won't escape on Good Friday, but he will escape today, Judica, in order that you would be saved. That's what this is all about. That's what Christianity is all about. Christianity is about the Son of God saving you. That's what it's all about. And you are the ones for whom he died. You are the ones he saved. So this week, as Passion Tides kicks up, fix your eyes on this Jesus, this God, who rescues you from your sin, from your death, and from the power of the devil by hiding in the temple. God hides from sinners so that he could die for you on Good Friday. I'm Pastor George Barkhart, and my best buddy Thor, and this has been another Higher Things video short.